okay uh, in the previous class we have studied the uh, application no application of uh, application of heating effect isn't it that we studied in the previous class okay so what are the application of heating effect where uh, heating effects are used and particularly in that application i took two one is the bulb okay and another one is the fuse so one question you can expect in these two okay related to bulb and related to fuse i explain most of the things but you have to refer the textbook okay so whatever given uh, in the entire textbook cannot be explained so you will get perfect idea by reading the text just i can make you to understand that's all okay so this is about the heating effect of electric current application that we discussed in the previous class now i am coming at the end of the chapter okay so first one is electric power okay electric power now let us see what is electric power so power means you know the rate of doing work isn't it the rate of the rate of doing work the rate of doing work is called the power we already discussed uh, it is measured in uh, watt okay and all those things but now we have to go for uh, electric power okay electric power what is electric power is the same definition okay there is no much difference between uh, power and electric power so electric power can be written uh, can be explained as uh, the rate at which the rate at which electric energy electric energy consumed okay electric energy consumed this is called a electric power okay unit is same watt only no difference at all so electric power can be defined as the rate at which electric power consumed or electric energy consumed or electric energy consumed so that means uh, in what rate in what rate that means according to time in what rate electricity is consumed okay electric energy is consumed that is called electric power okay you can expect the question what is electric power what is its unit so the rate at which electric energy is consumed is electric power what is the unit of electric uh, power watt okay watt is the unit so now electric power so we already discussed p is equal to vi isn't it this formula we already discussed when the potential difference is multiplied with the current you will get power power is equal to vi okay power is equal to vi this is the formula we have discussed if you uh, change it if you change it so v can be written as ir correct v is equal to ir okay v is equal to ir according to ohm's law v is equal to ir and again this i as it is this i as it is it becomes i square r so why i am writing all these things in problems while calculating power suppose potential difference and current is given you have to use this formula suppose current and resistance is given you have to use this formula but everything says power only so power is equal to vi or power is equal to i square r got the point now so this these are the different formula to be remember okay to calculate the uh, uh, power and power is equal to v square by r v square by r this is another formula power is equal to v square by r okay v square by r so this formula you have to remember to calculate the power so i told her what is electric power and unit and formula okay suppose potential difference and resistance is given you have to use this formula to calculate the power suppose current and resistance is given you have to use this formula suppose potential difference and current is given you have to use this formula okay all the three okay related to power only okay all the three related to power and you have to remember its unit is Watt, okay. Its unit is watt. So that uh, you have to remember about the electric power. So next, if you go for, uh, you know that uh, watt is the unit of power. Okay, watt it is a unit of power. Okay, it is a unit of power. Okay, and uh, second, it is the unit of time. Is it? It's the second is the unit of time. Second is the unit of time. so but uh, 
it is very small unit okay watt it is very small unit so second it is also it is very small therefore for the commercial purpose okay for the commercial purpose for example you will get the electric bill so uh, they have to assess how much electricity is consumed that means they are calculating power or energy okay energy so to calculate it so we have to get the bigger unit okay bigger unit so instead of watt we will use kilowatt okay instead of instead of watt we will use kilowatt what is kilowatt 1000 watt is equal to 1 kilowatt 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt and also here for time we are using hours okay we are using hours okay hours because to bigger to get the bigger value so one hour is equal to 60 into 60 because one hour is equal to 60 minute one minute is equal to 60 second so that is equal to 3600 seconds okay one hour is equal to 3600 seconds okay so that you have to remember so now we can go for uh, which is the commercial unit commercial unit is uh, kilo watt r this is the commercial unit okay commercial unit kilo watt r so this kilo watt r i can write it in uh, joule okay we can write it in joule because it is a unit of energy now it is a unit of energy because hour is there okay so if we take only kilowatt it's the power power into time power into time energy we already discussed so now energy is equal to unit bigger unit kilo watt r now i will convert it to joule okay i will convert it to joule kilowatt okay kilowatt means uh, how many watt uh, thousand watt okay thousand watt into hour hour means uh, we are to write it in seconds uh, therefore how many seconds uh, 3600 seconds so totally it can be called as uh, joules it is assessed in uh, joule okay so kilowatt r kilowatt r we are converting it to joule question may be asked in the examination convert 1 kilowatt r into joule so 1 kilowatt r is equal to 1 kilowatt is 1000 watt hour means 3600 seconds totally what is the unit it is energy now energy is measured in joule okay energy is measured in joule so i will write it in the short form it is 36 into 10 to the power of 1 2 3 4 5 okay 10 to the power of 5 joules 10 to the power of joules okay but usually we have the practice expressing this one in 6 okay power in 6 then it can be written as 3.6 36 becomes 3.6 into 10 to the power of you have to rise 1 it is 10 to the power of 6 so, so 1 kilowatt okay 1 kilowatt r is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joules okay 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joules this is the converting kilowatt r into joule Okay, kilowatt R into joule. This is a very important question in the examination. Convert 1 kilowatt R into joule. Once again, I tell you, watt is measured in power, time is measured in second. Okay, time is measured in second. But for the commercial purpose, we are using to measure energy. To measure energy, we are using kilowatt R. Okay, kilowatt R. So, 1 kilowatt R is equal to 1000 watt into 3600 seconds. Total is energy. So, energy measured in joules. So, this is 36 into 10 to the power of 30 plus 2050. That is 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joules. So, in multiple choice also, you can expect the question 1 kilowatt R is equal to dash joule. So, 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joule. This is also okay. 36 into 10 to the power of 5. These two are same. Okay. Here I raised it because point jumps to left side. When point jumps to left side, it increases by 10. So 3.6 to 10 to the power of 6 joules. Okay. So this is about the electric power and commercial unit. Okay. I think uh, you understood this chapter. So now I uh, concluded it. The chapter is finished. The next class onwards, I will start the problems. Okay. Every problem is important. If you know this chapter, you can understand the problem clearly. But before coming to the problem, so first you have to read textbook. Again and again I am telling, whatever I am teaching, this is not enough. So you have to read the text. Okay. Once or twice or thrice, you have to read the text. Completely read it. Okay. And make your, your own notes, footnotes. And then you start working the problem. Working problem is very important one. 
those who, who can work problem okay so it means that they understood the chapter okay the next period we will take the problems thank you